The way the media discuss asylum in Britain is getting ever more extreme. But on Talk TV, Grace Blakely delivered a dose of reality. They've come here from this, a safe country. It's sorry, therefore illegal. Richard, this debate just becomes so overly emotive. And it basically, you, it comes down to kind of good migrant, bad migrant. Did they come here via a legal route or did they come here by, via an illegal well, route? Are, you, are, are they you contributing to illegality? society? Are you or condoning are they illegality? Actually, let's just take a step back and look at what's actually causing this problem, right? The reason that we've had this big increase in people coming to this country for, from poor, poor parts of the world is because those places are increasingly facing factors like climate breakdown. They're facing conflict, often caused by countries like the UK. They're facing social breakdown, poverty. These structural factors are what's pushing people here, and they're not going away. And the reason that we are seeing more people coming into this country through Great. illegal routes is because we aren't creating the legal routes. We've got legal routes. 1.1 million people How came here legally last just, year. If you're a woman in no, no, you this, know, Afghanistan, I, I'm not, the Taliban, this you're going to knock on, about safe knock and legal on the embassy and be like, hi, I'd like to go to England, people, please. 1.1 million people. So obviously what Richard Tice there is, is, is doing is conflating economic migration with asylum, right? So there was a lot of people who came to the country last year, but that was mainly because the government wanted people to fill jobs and it wanted people to be international students to basically subsidize our universities for domestic students because the government don't give them enough money. I think that's great. I'm very much in favor of economic migration, very much in favor of international students coming to study here. That is not a safe route for asylum seekers because that program is not open to asylum seekers. If you're an asylum seeker, there is pretty much no safe way to get here unless you're from Ukraine, right? There was a scheme in Afghanistan, but as has been pointed out many times, very few people were able to come by that. And again, actually, I won't go into detail here because that point was made um, very, very impressively on the same channel by migrants' rights campaigner Zoe Gardner. The one who said that there, there would be there were safe routes available and that we could have a discussion about whether they were enough. Um, the number of people who've been able to benefit from a safe route to the UK from Afghanistan is 54. So um, it's just a lie that there are safe routes available to Nicholas refugees. Nicolas Dubois? No, no it's, it's not a lie. And I, I, I think that language is wholly unhelpful. There are actually numbers we know from Syria have come in on 20,000. Has it been working? years ago. That well, scheme it, closed well, down it, uh, more point, than five, the, seven years ago. Okay. We're all right. still living in you the past. On. There's no way for a Syrian to come here today. No way at all. No, there are there are routes to get in this country, as I have no, said. Not. The it's fact that they may be... Okay. And with swallowing this lie to justify the fact that, as the other panellists said... Well, I wish said, I could get a lie in for you to swallow. We're millions and millions of pounds honestly. on a failed system. Let, Nick, let Nick speak, place. Zoe. Let him speak, if that's OK. Go on, Nick. So it's it's been acknowledged by parliamentary select committees that there are routes to come in here. There is a huge debate as whether those routes are working or not. You've even you got critics... Can you tell me one of the routes okay. that's operational Let now? him speak. Uh, that's it. One route. Right. OK, fine. You, there are routes that were put in front of the Parliamentary Select Committee, and I hope you can go and give evidence to them and put your point of view over, because I would suspect, suggest that you are wrong and you are exaggerating as well. So perhaps we can agree on that. I mean, he wasn't able to answer the question, was he? Name a safe route. He couldn't answer it. I mean, there is Ukraine. There is also Hong Kong. Um, but that's it. Essentially, Afghanistan, as Abbey Gardner said there, there is formally a safe route for people to come here but only 54 people have managed to do that. Now, obviously, the demand to come here is a lot greater. We know that um, because Afghans have very recently died in the channel, right? So there are lots of Afghans who want to get to the UK. Apparently, there's a safe route for Afghans, but it's not working. Um, Dahlia, what did you make of those interventions from Grace and Zoe? I think at this point, we have to be very clear, and I'm very ashamed to say it, but we currently in this country operate a closed border policy to refugees and asylum seekers. And I say I'm ashamed to say that because it is deeply, deeply uh, shameful. Uh, future generations will look back with that shame, I hope. It's unprecedented and it's unacceptable. And I think that it was it was very important there for Zoe to, to come back on that point that Nick Dubois, Dubois was making. Uh, I found it incredibly bizarre. I don't know if it's just ignorance, if he just doesn't have the comprehension skills, but for him to say there are safe and legal routes in the context of a conversation about refugees and asylum seekers, to say there are safe and legal routes. 1.1 million people came through legal routes last year. That is a, a very cynical slipperiness of language, because as you said, 
when he's talking about 1.1 million people, he's not talking about refugees and asylum seekers. In fact, when you look at how many people have been able to come to this country through legal refugee settlement programs, it's like since 2015 to 2023, it's half a million. So his figure of 1.1 million that allegedly came last year, that doesn't even cover what, what has happened in the past seven years. And of course, now, because we now operate a, an essentially closed border policy, that number is going to be even lower. Last year, it was 6,000. 6,000 people were able to be resettled via a refugee scheme. Obviously, the majority of those were Ukrainian, and very few of them, as Zoe pointed out, were Afghans, right? So very limited and very specific availability of refugee um, refugee resettlement schemes. And so it's very important that people like Zoe with that not with that deep knowledge of the system are able to be on on programs like that in order to cut off um, those those. It said, you know, she called it a lie. I don't know if it was just ignorance or or what, but it certainly is not an accurate representation of the reality. I also think it was very important for Grace to point out the broader structural reasons why displacement is happening. 